We often get asked about our Sim Angus program here at Millbrae and I guess we're beginning into our sixth year of it. And basically the reason we, we got into the, the Sim Angus genetics is we had customers that were wanting to start doing some crossbreeding and uh, we had always kind of thought about doing this as well so we just started our own program. Basically we started it with uh, some of our Angus donors breeding to some of the mainline Semitol bulls in the breed such as Upgrade, Do It Right and uh, then it kind of evolved into where we were basically had now gone to half-bloods, mating half-bloods to half-bloods to produce these genetics for our customers. Basically the same criteria has been involved in selecting for the Sem Angus genetics as the Angus being that you know number one we're selecting for maternal genetics something that we can make a cow out of here and uh, just basically a lot of common sense traits too which would consist of basically udders, disposition, actually calling on feet and legs and such practices as that. We like to incorpor incorporate these common sense traits along with the new tools available now such as genomics and the vast information we can get from that. One reason we've kind of gone to this half bud program if you're a producer that is basically a purebred Angus herd, you can incorporate these Sim Angus genetics in your herd and produce a quarter blood animal. And whether you market a calf or a feeder, he'll go through the sale. If you do go through a sale barn or sell on, on uh, you know, superior marketing avenues such as that, that it's going to be an animal that's not going to be much different appearing than an Angus calf, maybe just a little bit stouter, a little more to him, and plus the, really the benefits of, of crossbreeding is going to be on the maternal side, you know, incorporating some heterosis in your herd. With this you get the best of both worlds with the Milbrae maternal genetics and the Semitol performance. We feel that with the Sim Angus genetics we have in the offering, it's a way if you would like to incorporate this into your herds, we have a basically six years of genetics here started as well as if you are an established breeder, you might be able to add on a cow or two that would fit your program. One of the reasons for selecting Semitol as our second breed is and has been there's just the database is somewhat more similar to the Angus breed, just more, more choices out there, just more numbers, which ultimately takes some of the guesswork out of it when you're developing another breed. We feel like we've been making bull selections in our Semitol program that you can add the heterosis, plus you're very pleased when you go out to the pasture and see the cows and uh, the type and kind added body, tick more muscle in them, and uh, just the overall composition of the cattle you sure like to see. This overall composition of the cattle you see when you go out to the pastures and take a look around. The Semitol breed has done a vast amount of work moderating birth weight over the, over the years and uh, just we felt it was the breed out there that would enhance our gen Angus genetics the most. When we started the Sem Angus program 60 years ago, we didn't take our bottom third of the Angus herd to start this program. We basically took some proven donors as well as the top half of the Angus herd to begin this program and get it off to a good start. By using this approach, the first bulls that we had for sale were comparable to our Angus bulls. Also with this, with this approach, we saw a lot of quality as well as consistency. If you're interested in to acquire some Sam Angus genetics, we uh, welcome you to come take a look at them. We've got quite a few on videos. Just go to our website, millbrayranch.com to see the catalog, see videos posted on these Sam Angus cattle and uh, feel free to give me a call anytime and we sure like to go over them with you.